Hey peeps, it's your girl Daxani and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm just gonna talk about taking it easy with your artwork. I did a basic floating head drawing, if you will. I had art block and I wasn't trying to force any type of creativity. I wasn't in the mood for practicing on anything specific, nothing like that. This was just a warm up as it's been kind of hard to create something that I actually like these days. Actually, let me let me rephrase that. It's been hard to really pump out a lot of art that I actually like these days. I have sketches and sketches and sketches of inspiration, but I just haven't finished them. I haven't really been motiva motivated to finish them because some of the sketches I look at, I'm like, ah, uh, I like it, but I don't like it. So I just don't force myself to complete it. So I've been kind of taking it easy and I kind of just came up with this random floating head, this art face, I don't know, something. But yeah, I just kind of randomly came up with this drawing. I just kind of, I like, I really wanted to draw, but without overthinking without really thinking at all just remember just reminding myself that you know art is fun it's supposed to be fun so let me just do something for fun while i was doing this drawing i was thinking back to when i first discovered artists on youtube and stuff like that how artists used to make it seem like it was bad to draw floating heads or at least like it was boring or you're not a true artist if all you're doing is floating heads you're not progressing if you keep on you know drawing floating heads and your art needs variety and blah 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 those may not be the exact same words but it's how it made me feel at that time um i don't think artists are saying that today Really, I think for the most part, I think most artists are more supportive of each other um, more than ever. That's what it seems like to me anyways, um, maybe except for Twitter. <laughs> um, but while drawing this, it just, I don't know, it just made me kind of think back to like that was kind of like the thing. And I'm not going to lie, that did kind of like motivate me to try out new things and to kind of steer away from drawing these so-called floating heads or whatever. Yet, you know, what they're saying isn't completely wrong. It just depends on your goals. So if you want to do something professionally with your art, then yeah, sure, you may not want to draw floating heads all the time and put nothing but floating heads on your portfolio, you know. Um, you know, there most likely probably will be floating heads, but they're floating heads with expression. Like, I'll put some examples up like these. But of course, you do want to have more variety in your portfolio. Art is usually a hobby for some and a career goal for others. For me, it used to be a goal for me to work in the industry. However, somehow along this ride called adulthood, you know, things changed. I changed my mind. Uh, I really won't go into that in this video. Maybe another one if you're curious. Um, anyways. And you know, don't get me wrong. It's okay to practice. I'm always down for practicing, expanding my artwork whenever I can. Um, but unfortunately, I'm a busy adult and drawing floaty heads, <laughs> floaty heads, floating heads are easy, relaxing, and you know, just for fun without really worrying about how to draw the hand, you know, or, you know, making sure that the anatomy proportions are correct. Like, I don't want to do that much thinking, at least like not right now. That'll probably be for another time, another day. Um, whenever I'm just feeling inspired, but the only thing I was really inspired was to just do something for fun, like this floating head, um, add some bright, vibrant colors, and you know, I did do my fair share of experimenting. Um, I, I think for this one, I kind of went back to my uh, older style of, or older ways of how I colored hair in a sense, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm happy with myself, but yeah this video is just kind of just a reminder that just draw 
whatever the hell you want. Remember, it's for fun. And I know social media, of course, kind of puts that pressure on you to keep pumping out art. And Instagram is definitely one of them. And then I think TikTok is probably a better platform, I think, for artists sometimes. Not always. But, you know, on social media, you're just expected to pump out a lot of art. And then if I'm being honest, I think ever since I hit that 10K on Instagram, um, inside of me, I already knew this. Like, oh, you know, these likes, the amount of likes that I'm seeing, they look good now, but it's not going to always be this way. I can't keep pumping out art like this all the time. And I, I follow artists that do, that do this. They pump art all the time. Like when I scroll, I see like a new art piece. I'm like, how far in advance do most artists really you know, really work on, on these like art pieces, you know, for them to keep pumping it out. Like when's, how does that workflow look like? And I think seeing that is kind of what made me really want to just kind of talk about what I'm, what I'm talking about in this video, despite me having 10K. And I think I even said it when I made like my video on reaching 10K on Instagram. I was all like, you know, it's cool and fun, but um, it's, you know, it's just not going to be consistent. Like the number of um, engagement is just not going to be consistent like the first time around, you know? And I know like, I follow other artists who are definitely, definitely bigger than I am. And they they do, you know, that some of them, their engagement does stay consistent. Sometimes it's not, but I think my view on consistency with a large following is, it might be different from theirs. I mean, they still get like a thousand something likes on their posts, if not 2000, but that's usually, you know, sometimes, um, it's it's pretty low for the most part but still like that's a lot of likes i would love to have a thousand likes on each of my posts like that's pretty cool But yeah, if you're comfortable with what you draw, whether it be floating heads 24 seven or even character busts, which is something I normally do, this is your reminder to just have fun. Don't force yourself to practice on something or force yourself to do something that's going to make you frustrated. Sometimes you just need to create that simple piece of artwork, something to kind of just um, something just to let out, you know, I feel like it's something that you're just letting out on a piece of paper or on your iPad or wherever it is that you're drawing on your canvas, anything like that. Um, you know, just, I think maybe it's important just to create one or two, even more art pieces of you just drawing, whether it be doodles, nothing but circles, squares, um, lines, like just put something on on whatever it is you draw with like this artwork that you're seeing in this video i was just in the mood to draw a pretty face so didn't care to draw a bust either you know because i think that would require me to figure out what kind of pose or which way should the head face um should i include some hands i did i didn't want to think i just wanted to draw as i said i wasn't really in the mood but yeah, take it easy, relax, because life is just too freaking stressful for anyone to be stressed over something that you really enjoy. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys, and thanks for listening to my ramble or whatever this video was. Um, but yeah, um, happy creating. Bye.